Hello and welcome to the first episode of my new tutorial series, Subtractive Synthesis on Various Synthesizers. So let me start by introducing what I'm hoping to do today and why I'm doing it. Well, I think there are a lot of tutorials out there and information about subtractive synthesis. It's probably the most common type of synthesis familiar to many people. I find that those tutorials are either focused on discussing synthesis in the abstract, or they're focused on discussing synthesis for a particular synthesizer. What I want to do is emphasize that the principles that you learn in synthesis can be applied to almost any subtractive synthesizer. So to that end, I'm going to be demonstrating the synthesis techniques on a variety of different synths. For example, the Novation Base Station 2. Korg Volker Keys The Arturia Microfreak The IK Multimedia Uno Synth Pro Innovation Peak Synthesizer. So with these synthesizers in mind, how exactly are we going to learn subtractive synthesis? Well, subtractive synths have a lot of commonality in terms of how they're laid out and how the signal flows. That's what makes them subtractive. So rather than deep dive immediately into one particular synthesizer, I'm going to spend each episode talking about one particular section of that synthesizer. I'm going to look at the synthesizer and I'm going to point at where each of the sections live on that particular unit. We're then going to use that section and all of the sections that we've spoken about in previous episodes to design a certain type of sound. So for example, I might say, we'll design a pad. What are those sections going to be? The oscillator, the mixer section, the filter section, the envelopes, the LFOs, the effects section, and then other modulation. So the point is that these features are common across a whole range of synthesizers, both hardware and software. We're going to follow the same pattern that we did in the FM sound design, which is we're going to learn intellectually and from a more engineering standpoint, how the synthesizer is structured and where the signal flows. But when we design the sounds, we are going to focus on listening and trying to create the timbres and motion that we would like. So I hope this sounds interesting to you and I hope you join me for some more of my series. But for now, I will say goodbye. <laughs>